What would you say is essential to you? Mm, family. I think uh, good rapport with my family is essential. I think. Uh, and um, having a, a good, having a strong purpose in my life is essential. Do you think you have that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs>do right now. I think yeah. maybe what I want to remove from my life is this intense seriousness about doing what I want to do and be a bit more relaxed. Yeah. What would you say your greatest achievement has been so far? It's a hard one because I never feel like I achieve anything sometimes and I think that keeps me going. But I think if I had to pick something it would be winning the second star this year because we're a small business and I think I felt I felt a shared achievement with the team. I'm proud of the team and their their work. What persons are the biggest impact on your your life so far? Impact probably Jeremy. I think. What's it like starting a business with a friend? Once you find you know, yeah, well, once you once you find your know, zen between both of you, I think I think it's cool. What possession would you save in, in a fire? Probably my knives. It would be as a collection. I feel really like lucky to have a job that I like. I really respect like the tools that I work with, but not just my knives. Like all the equipment that I have is like, important, and I just see the value in looking after your working materials. Interested to know this one? What's the what's the one taste or smell that takes you back to your childhood? Probably smell of fried plantain. Smell of the swimming pool. Don't know why that takes me back to my childhood. Uh, but, uh, chlorine swimming pools um, and fried plantain, yeah, this you. What's the, your, your number one marker of a good, good friendship? Consistency and loyalty. People having a strong, defined character and uh, accepting that and having it be consistent is uh, important. Ire, what's the biggest stroke of luck you've had? I'd probably find out that Jeremy could cook very well. <laughs> Um, when, when, when we live together, yeah. And if I didn't, then yeah, probably we might not be here. No, we've known each other since we were 15. Yeah. So like over you know, 20 years now. Which is crazy. <laughs> Gone like that. Yeah. In terms of like art or literature, film, music, is there anything that's had a big influence on you? Madame Bovary, Gustave Flaubert. Have you read that book? Incredible novel. Yeah, I think about that book a lot. Um, should read it, it's, it's pretty sick. What, what do you reckon you'd be doing if you weren't a chef? Probably be teaching in a university, maybe. I really enjoy like methods and structures of thought. And I think like that's why I like the idea of academia, because it's about organization of thought and developing arguments. And um, it's very theoretical and sharing that and building that with people is like very exciting. Doesn't, none of it really matters, all that matters is the food is tasty, you know? So. <laughs>